Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Bedwars and today I'm going to be explaining to you guys why I can no longer walk. Um, I don't mean in like Bedwars, I mean in real life. Before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. It really helps me out. It helps me stay more motivated to create these kind of content. And also, I'm home now, which means I'm actually going to be uploading. So yeah, you should definitely subscribe and enjoy the video. All right, so I'm sure that in the intro I explained what we're going to be talking about today. But uh, we're going to be talking about how I can't walk. Now that might that may seem a bit far-fetched for, for me. I'm a Minecraft YouTuber. I don't really go outside. There's nothing I can really do to prevent me from not being able to walk. But I did go on holiday recently. That is why my upload schedule has not been amazing. It's because because uh, I can't actually play Bed Wars and record while I'm in France, unfortunately. So I guess I might as well just get into it and explain what happened. So um, on my holiday, I was in the south of France. Um, and it was pretty warm. It was like, for the first week, it was around 35 to 40 degrees C, which I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit. Um, so just figure that one out yourself. But it was really, really hot. So we went down to this lake and there was some cool activities we could do at the lake. There was like this water park thing. It was like it was like obstacle courses, but um, on like inflatable balloons. If you've ever seen Total Wipeout, you know what I'm on about. But um, can this fireball kill someone? But yeah, it was pretty cool. And I did that for the first day. And uh, there was on the second day, I went to do this sport called wakeboarding. Oh my God. Now, if you don't know what wakeboarding is, it's essentially you're on a, a sort of um, snowboard attached to a speedboat and you're getting dragged behind it. I'll, I'll put like a video on it of wakeboarding on right now. Man, it really is. It is absolutely perfect. I mean, but it's it's a weird sport. You 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 you're attached to a speedboat on a rope, and um, you kind of just you, you kind of just surf behind it, and it's really fun. I did it maybe about five years ago in Greece when I was really young, um, and I wanted to give it a go again. And so you could do that at the lake, except it wasn't a speedboat. It was sort of like a, a pulley that dragged you along, uh, which was a bit different. But the advantage with the pulley is that you could do like jumps and go on ramps and that kind of thing. So on the first day, I went on these jumps and these ramps. I managed to get quite a few cool jumps. I'm pretty proud of myself for uh, what I managed to do. And I landed pretty well. And you know, I didn't hurt myself or anything like that. But then comes the second day, um, which, which is where the story sort of changes. But yeah, it comes to the second day and I really enjoyed my um, my, my wakeboarding experience, we'll say. So I decided to go again on the second day and it was a bit windier and a bit colder, but which means it was like harder for me to get warmed up and sort of like in the mood to do it. Um, which meant that when I went on, I was sort of like, I was a bit cold. I was a bit, you know, I wasn't relaxed or anything like that, which is kind of important when you're doing this kind of sport. You want your body to be relaxed. And so like when you do a jump, you can sort of land it properly but yeah basically it came to like my first run of the day i was doing pretty well i hadn't done any jumps yet and i thought i might as well just do a jump now it's it was a bit early and um i decided to do the jump and just as i took off on the ramp there was a tiny bit of wind and uh it meant that it sort of flung me sideways and it meant that my landing was going to be scuffed. Now, if you know anything about water, which is a weird statement to make, but if you know anything about water, you'll know that when you hit water at a fast speed or from a like a really high distance or a super fast speed, it's like falling on concrete. It really hurts. It just like you don't like go down properly. It just really hurts when you hit the water. So that happened. It really hurt. I landed tiny bit sideways because of the wind and because you're strapped in on a wakeboard it's sort of like a uh, it's essentially like a snowboard you're strapped in but because you're strapped in it's um you, your feet don't really have the chance to move so that when i landed my body was sideways but my feet were very much straight on which meant that when i landed my knee just completely twisted 
and uh, that really, really hurt. So the kind of stupid thing I did after falling was, so I fell in the water and I couldn't like feel my, I couldn't feel my leg at all. Like it was just completely numb. I couldn't move it, so which is sort of normal after just having like a crash. And I was kind of used to that. So I just like, I gave it a minute. I, sh I literally just like shook it off and carried on going with the, with the wakeboarding, just did like another 20 minutes. And then it came to me like, I'd finished my session and it came to me getting out the water and I went to get out and I just could not move my leg like at all. It was horrible. So I, once I got out and I was like, I was like trying to walk over to my mum, and I was just like hobbling. I couldn't put any pressure on my knee or anything like that. Uh, and it was really bad. So that's sort of where I'm up to right now with that. I went to like the pharmacy the day after, got some crutches and like a knee brace or something like that just to help. And it's, I'm doing better. I can I can put a bit more pressure on my leg, but I still can't walk on it as per se. But yeah, I absolutely cannot walk, which is really annoying because uh, it's, I mean, it's just annoying not being able to walk. Like, what can I say? Uh, but there are some positives to it. Since I had crutches, coming back to England was just an absolute breeze with the airport. Airport security, queues? No, absolutely not. I just got f free fast pass track, fast track, whatever. Full priority. Um... When it came to like the border control, which is where they like check that you're not like a criminal going into their country. I just got, I just completely skipped that queue as well. There was like a 20 minute queue. No, nope, didn't didn't need to wait. Just just got to skip that too. So I guess there are some positives of uh, not being able to walk and being slightly disabled, but it's okay. But yeah, that does mean I'm back from my holiday. We did actually, I'm actually here like three days earlier than we should have been because of the fact that I couldn't really do much when it comes to uh, the holiday. We just decided to leave a few days earlier. Um, but it was all right. I enjoyed my holiday. It was good fun. But it also means that I'm actually going to be uploading. Um, I think this is like this week or last week was the first week since I started doing YouTube properly that I've not uploaded um, like two times or three times a week. Like I just walked off. <laughs> <laughs> that was tragic. Uh, right, this bed here. But yeah, apologies for the, the gameplay not being amazing. Since this is my first day back on Minecraft, it just, it feels weird to click a mouse, okay? So I'm not playing great. Nice final. Oh my God, Opaz. Today and it's great. And I'm about to kill my son.